Hello my fellow miner. I wasn't actually going to cover this to be honest, but then I figured and I've seen it many times before that when you have stability you usually do something else. Or maybe you gain something. So I set out to test this anyway. But uh, expect a new version tomorrow or the day after or very soon that also includes 90% LHR unlocked for the RTX 3050 and RTX 3080 12 gigs. Yes, 90% LHR unlock. It's going to be fun to test. So remember to subscribe and like the video and to help me out, share it, spam it everywhere, send it to everyone and post it everywhere. Thank you. NB Miner 41.3 Full LHR unlock again, but this time stable, apparently. Change lock. Graphic cards, overclock settings including how to set up in HiveOS, how to set up in Windows 10, results, conclusion, profits, change lock, improved stability of LHR unlocker, improved compatibility on rigs with small system memory, recommended driver versions, please note them. Quickly moving on like a ninja, uh, we're going to have a look at the RTX 3050 from MSI, the Ventus 2X. The RTX 3060 LHR version 2 from Sotag Gaming. It has been working perfectly in very good quality to be honest. The RTX 3060 Ti from Asus, their tough series. No, that is actually the wrong picture. There, now we have the right one. The graphic card comes with two balls of steel in each fan. Military grade. Yes, yes. A piano was dropped on my head as a kid, so I am legally excused. We also have the MSI Venture 3, which is also an RTX 3060 Ti rocking Hynix RAM. But this time it's a revision 2, and that means it can actually clock up to 1700 in Windows or 3400 in Hive OS. This very nice card is super slim and super noisy. Then we have the RTX 3070 iChill 4X from Inno3D. It's actually surprisingly good. The quality is top notch. I have not changed anything. It's super cool actually. And then of course it comes with lots of RGBs that you cannot turn off via the software because the software part sucks. But it doesn't matter because more RGBs, more mega hash. Up next we have the RTX 3070 Ti from Sota Gaming, also known as the DIY 3070 Ti because it drops thermal padding and comes with screws that have fallen out. I actually expected the quality to be uh, on pair with their RTX 3060, oh boy was I wrong, what a pile of poop. And then we have the RTX 3080 LHR from Gigabyte Vision Overclock Revision 2. It's actually quite good looking, but I wish you could get it in black brushed metal instead. Even though it doesn't really matter because it's part of my mining rig and I never see it. The RTX 3080 12GB RAM edition from Gigabyte. The Gaming Overclock LHR Extreme. Okay, it's not actually called Extreme. Unfortunately, my RTX 3080 Ti is on vacation and will be back after repairs. If you haven't subscribed, Uncle Donkey would very much like you to hit subscribe and afterwards that bell notification. Yes, the bell so you can get spammed even while you sit on the toilet. I mean, who doesn't want to get a random notification at random times around the clock? It is very nice. So remember to hit the bell notification and you will get unwanted messages all the time. Ethereum overclock settings. Overclock settings for the RTX 3050 mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 1200. Set the memory to 2000 in HiveOS and 1000 in Windows. Unfortunately, full LHR unlock doesn't work on this card. And now the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 LHR V2 mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 1552. Set the memory clock to 2600 in HiveOS, which is 1300 in Windows. Onto the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 1 Mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 1350, set the memory clock to 2100 in HiveOS and 1050 in Windows. 
Now the overclock settings for the RTX 3060 Ti LHR Hynix Revision 2 Mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 1500 and the memory clock at 3200 in high and 1600 in Windows. It is time to have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 LHR Mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 11.25, set the mirror clock to 2400 in high which is 1200 in Windows. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3070 Ti Mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 900, set the memory clock to 2100 in high 1050 in Windows. Now let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 10GB Mining Ethereum. Set the core clock to 1100 and the memory clock to 2800 in high OS, which is 1400 in Windows. And the final card until I get my RTX 3080 Ti back from repairs. Let's have a look at the overclock settings for the RTX 3080 12 gigs mining Ethereum. Lock the core clock at 1400, set the memory clock to 3200 in high voice, which is 1600 in Windows. If it's not possible to get 41.3 through high voice update yet, then all you need to do is click run command and fire this command. I will include a link to it in the description. If you are using Windows, create a batch file based upon what you see here. And of course, remember to run it as admin. Results Let's have a look at the results for the RTX 3050 mining Ethereum. We can already see here that 41.3 offers a performance boost both in iOS and Windows. And the change log didn't even say anything about major improvements. Well, the next one will because that is going to be quite exciting for the RTX 3050. I'll not go too much into details with anything else as I want to keep the video short this time. Mostly because my bed come calling from the other side, the spirit world man. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3060 mining Ethereum. Here we see that there is actually no change at all when it comes to the hash rate. However, if we look at average efficiency, we actually see that version 41.3 is more efficient than 41.0. That is very nice. Moving on. Let's have a look at the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 1 Mining Ethereum. For hardware, the results are unchanged. For Windows, we see that it has gained a bit of efficiency. That is actually nice. It's always good with improvements even though they are minor. And especially if they are more stable. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 2. Crazy, it almost looks like I just copy pasted it. I'll chuck this one down to there is no change, with the exception of a small drop in efficiency in 41.3. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3070 Mining Ethereum. The only thing I've noticed here for me is that there's a bigger mid-max hash rate difference in NB Miner. 41.3 high voice. Then again, the total difference here is so little that it doesn't matter at all. Now let's have a look at the results for the RTX 3070 Ti mining Ethereum. 0.3 is more efficient than 41.0 and we also have the mid-max memory temperature where it looks like it runs cooler. Then again, it could also just be the weather. Where I live, people get eaten by polar bears and penguins rob you. Oh, and my mining rigs are in an igloo. Now let's bobsled over to the next one. Let's have a look at the results for the RTX 3080 10GB mining Ethereum. Again, it looks like copy-paste with the exception of efficiency. And again, we see max temperature on the memory is lower. That could also be to lower core temperature. So maybe that is part of the efficiency optimization. I honestly don't know, but it looks good. Or maybe there's a snowstorm outside. I never go out, so I don't know. Now let's have a look at the RTX 3080 12GB mining Ethereum. Please note that this one is not LHR unlocked at all, but will be in the next NB miner. Well, not completely at 90% though. Not much to note here to be honest. This comparison will be much more fun in the next version. Now let's have a look at the mining screen. To the left we have HiveOS and to the right Windows 10. As you can see, I ran it on HiveOS for 8 hours without any problems and for 1.5 hours on Windows. It's actually still running on Windows. I noticed a funny bug where it starts at 2 hours and then all of a sudden it resets to 1 hour and counts from there. But besides that, not much to see. Conclusion 
Now I think the most important thing in B minor version 41.3 brings is stability for those who have problems. Personally myself I didn't have any problems and haven't had any problems. But I do see a lot with problems. The vast majority is because they refuse to run the fan at 100% and they also refuse to lower their memory. For example, Panvan on my telegram has had some serious problems where we tried all the way down to 1300 and yet it kept on fading. And that is 1300 on the memory in HiveOS on a 3070 Ti. So it definitely has some stability problems. Well, hopefully 41.3 doesn't have it, hopefully it's solved by now. So if you have had stability problems and lowering your memory a bit and upping the fan speed hasn't helped you, then update immediately. T-Rex Miner is actually also testing full LHR unlock and I guess we can expect it to be released very soon. And then of course a new version of NB Miner that will include 90% unlock for 3050 and 3080 12 gigs. So if you haven't subscribed, now is the time to do it. Please click like on the video, it actually helps me out a lot as well as spamming it everywhere. Share it with everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Now I'll go to bed and hopefully sleep more than 3 hours. Oh yeah, and don't feel too bad about the profits, they are quite horrible today. Profits. Ka-ching!